It's Talk Funny, a podcast by Mark Bailey and other comics from all over. We ended up in Japan because in the U.S. we misunderstood the purpose of a petting zoo. Sorry about that deer and rabbits. The Talk Funny podcast from NagoyaRadio.com and Nagoya Comedy. Here's Mark Bailey. Here's Mark Bailey. Welcome back to Talk Funny. I'm Mark Bailey. We're back again with Mike Miller from NagoyaComedy.com as myself and also... Your favorite Arab homosexual. Myth at the start of fear. So Mike and I need to actually address something. When you, If you're downloading these podcasts... It always says it's more always explicit. Explicit. Oh. And Mike, Mike and I are like what? Oh Jesus! What, what why? We, I don't know. Like, why is this explicit? I, when you listen to the podcast, you can rate it. You can say, yeah, thumbs up, thumbs down. There's also a you reason. You can rotate that thumb and stick it in your <laughs> rectum. That's what you can do with your little thumbs down. But this is what I think happened. Well, first of all, I asked Mike, why do you think it's rated explicit? First of all, I really don't know who does the rating. Is it iTunes or is it Spreaker or is it like what service does it? And does it cross platforms? Like if it's rated explicit on one, does it necessarily on another? I think they, re- I, I think they read explicit and they assume it's explicit. So you've got one, let's say, Bob.com and we mm. post there and he said it, it, it's explicit and then now we're explicit everywhere. Please put the beeps. I love listening to beeps. I love it. I love it. I, That's I, not I, difficult at all. Oh, it's, uh, okay. Yeah. Sorry. Listen, for what we're paying you, <laughs> you, you, you don't make requests. Graciously. <laughs> so I think that basically my, my rabbi listens and I think anybody that listens, I hate to even say this, but I think you can give a rating and you say, a little explicit for me. Yeah. And they pick up explicit. The bots pick it up. Oh, okay. And then it goes explicit. And they do that on Amazon as well. It's like, I think my rabbi may have not liked me mentioning the fact that he rapes me <laughs> with uh, monetarily. Uh, <laughs> Who would expect that from a Jewish <laughs> rabbi? A not Christian an, rabbi, maybe. Christian not an rabbi. Arab, certainly not. <laughs> a Christian rabbi. So I, I'm so surprised. After we mention my rabbi, we get rated explicit a lot. And you know why, Tofi? Because the Jews control the media. <laughs> <laughs> all right so anyway <laughs> all right as i'm a guest on your podcast right but, now, I, but apparently not those three of you patreon people who are listening to this now apparently jews can't control all the media because i'm running this i thought but apparently not <laughs> apparently not yeah who knows anymore who's running what my goodness my yeah. nose is running i'll tell you that because it's damn hay fever indian uh, date you had an indian date oh yes yeah, so i'm not out to my dad um and i had this indian guy over you are now <laughs> Anyway, hopefully not. We're on uh, LebaneseInfidelic.com. <laughs> oh, sorry. So, we are so, on so, Moroccan. So, so. Um, we are on Tunisian, Tunisian Rebels.com. Uh, classy she made. Anyway, um, yeah, so I had this date with this Indian, and uh, he liked my hairy legs because they're a rarity here. Who in doesn't? He, who doesn't, right? Everybody. Exactly. Everybody. But he especially liked them. So anyway, he was kind of um, ravenously enjoying them when my dad calls. And I'm like, okay, you want to listen to some Arabic, Mr. Indian? Mm. He's like, yes, I will listen to some Arabic. He's, he's Indian Muslim, so he'd appreciate it. Uh-huh. So I'm talking to my dad in Arabic. And my dad's like, hey, how are you doing? My dad loves me. I'm like, I'm good, I'm good. He's like, uh-huh, uh-huh. How was your week? I'm like, it's good. And this Indian is like, just like kissing my leg. Is just really Bollywooding it up down there? And I and I'm just talking to my dad, being like, you know, brief to make him like leave. But I can't tell him I'm busy right now. You know, he's like, uh huh, uh huh. Something's and- come up. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> that's a good one. Um, Sorry. So so he's like, okay. And how was your day? I'm like, it's been good. And he's like, okay, what are you doing now? I'm like, um, I'm cooking. <laughs> he's like, what are you cooking? I'm like, um, Indian. <laughs> oh, oh, very spicy. I'm preparing some Indian right now. Oh, I'm preparing some Indian. More Vaseline, please. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Oh. He was he was a terrible date, though. Uh, my goodness. Um, he he gets aroused when he touches the bull. And, and <laughs> when he was done, he made me curry. No, he didn't, but I'm racist. Anyway, um, so that's the Indian story. Cool. Yes. I have another story for you about Thailand. So, second day I'm in Thailand, and um, here's a tip for all you um, sex workers who are just getting started and don't know how to do it. You don't call I'm it... I'm listening. That's go half, ahead. Go half ahead. Of our audience. So, I'm looking for a new job. Go ahead. Yes. So, you don't call it money. You call it transportation help. So I'm at this hostel in Thailand, and this guy talks to me on this application. He's like, oh, let's speed. I'm like, okay, sure, whatever. Uh, I'm like, okay, but I'm this far away from you. I would need about this much money to get to you. He's like, okay, sure. Great. So I walk over. <laughs> by get, by get, for my hand Jeez. to get over there. 
<laughs> my hand, geez, I'm gonna, my hand's going to need to take a taxi. Maybe, yes. So the taxi costs <laughs> this much. Uh, he's like, okay, I'll give it to you. I'm like, great. That way he doesn't feel like he's uh, talking to a sex worker. He feels like it's regular. Mm. And you get to do some exercise. And Call girls do that all the, the time. And the Mike, was, Mike was telling me that call girls do that all the time here in Japan. I, I don't know that, but Mike was telling me that. Because <laughs> well, Mike's not married, and he would have no shame in telling me that. <laughs> but I wouldn't be able to tell Mike that. But Mike actually told me. Actually, Mike I'm and a I, very bad man. Mike and I were talking about it, and somebody told somebody about call girls, but Mike was involved. <laughs> Thank you for ruining my career. I, okay. <laughs> Trying to help A it. career. Anyway, um, so I get to this guy's hotel room. It's very nice, and he, he seems very heterosexual. Like, he's not very well dressed, <laughs> and I see sports jerseys and, like, a military mm. fatigue cap. Mm. I'm like, okay, whatever. He wants to orally pleasure me. There you go. Anyway, um, he's doing it. He's doing it in a very manly way. Like he's he's like, oh, that's so good, dude. <laughs> I'm like, okay. And he keeps going. He keeps going. He does it very, very well. Like I've had gay people not be able to do it as well, mm. and he's you know very good at it. And he finishes, and, um, and then he's like. Um, nervous and stuff and i'm like why are you nervous you know the, mm. the, <laughs> the, it's over There's yeah nothing to be nervous about you anymore. succeeded he was like yeah but i think i liked it i'm like what do you mean you think you liked it and he's like dude i'm married i'm like <laughs> hey to a woman he's like yeah i'm like what he's like yeah and i'm mormon I'm like, oh my god, that's amazing! I was the devil in this affair. Something's confusing to our listeners. Wait a minute, um, are you gay? Well, we should have probably mentioned that at the beginning. Well, actually, I have to. So, so you're well, su- yes. I'm just surprised there was no missionary position involved. <laughs> well, what happened was after after he told me, he's like, it's just she doesn't give me as much sex as I want. You know, she doesn't satisfy me. I'm like, just, did he take off his magic underwear? Please save this poor homosexual from having to roam the streets of Bangkok for transportation money to make ends meet. So yes. Um, anyway, so, so to- Tofi stays in the uh, in the in the latter portion of Bangkok. He not so much bang lot of cock. <laughs> there you go. Right. <laughs> yes. So he, so I so he's like oh but now I cheated on her and blah blah. I'm like no I just I just saved your marriage right now because he <laughs> oh. was going to divorce her. But the funny part is like you're Arab. I think we both agree on who the real problem is. <laughs> oh, Norwegian. I'm like oh. what do you mean? He's like it's the Jews. <laughs> I'm like, I cannot believe what I'm listening to. A, a, a Trump supporter possibly just blew me and cheating on his Mormon wife. I love it. In Bangkok, of all places. You know, I paid for it. Lovely, lovely. You know, lovely. We, we don't want to get trolled, but in Trump's favor, you know, he does have two Jews in his, in his in-law family. So, yeah. That's the thing. So, but but here's the thing. is, uh, My former roommate, hello, Jim, he, he loves the podcast, and he said that gay Arab guy is hilarious. He never bombs. So, I don't know. It's, <laughs> like, it's That's ironic, but he actually did. I, Hi, I, I bombed a few times. You have to bomb a few times if you're going to, like, you know, blaze it up later. Exactly. He said, you know, he really he really fuels, uh, but he kind of fuels the uh, the podcast a lot of times, you know what I mean? Like, he was you know, banging. What kind of box cutter does he use, you know, and that kind of thing. But Yeah, sorry, wrong country. That was, I think I did this uh, in a few months ago, Mike, in, uh, on stage one time. You would appreciate this. I said, I? Uh, you would appreciate it. I said, some people say Trump is the worst president we've ever had in the U.S., and some people say it was Obama, and I, I think neither of those. I think the worst period, the worst president we ever had in the U.S. was the eight-year period with the Saudi prince ruled us. Um, you know, the 2000 to 2008. The Saudi prince is the worst president we ever yeah, had. Yeah, we don't, we don't like him much. <laughs> right. He, yeah. you know. That sucks, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Who's it now? The Bandar's the guy there? He got no, it's MBS. It's Hamad bin Salman. Ah. He's going to Hi, Hollywood. Hi, daddy. Send me money. <laughs> he's going to Hollywood, and he, he's going to Hollywood. This is actually true. No, I this. He's going I think, to Hollywood. I think he's gay. Like, when I saw the posters of him in Lebanon, because we have those, I'm like, girl... You well, are ambitious. Go, you know, good well, for you. Hollywood, Hollywood is, I don't know if he's gay, but Hollywood is rolling out the red the red scarf for him. Uh-huh. So, so, but so Hollywood, you know, full of Jews. And then and then he goes, no, I don't I don't hate infidel Jews. I love infidel Jews. Mm. Nah. <laughs> so that's not anti Semitic. That's his favorite brand. I love for, for forbidden fruit. I, yes, I, I, don't, I, I don't hate Satan. I love Satan. Right. Small Satan. Small well, Satan. Great great Satan. On the political nugget, because your listeners need to know what's going on in the world. This new uh, prince of Saudi Arabia is actually uh, cooperating with Israel more than his predecessors. And yeah, the way yeah, that's a bit true. more open, for better or for worse, I don't know. That's true. He's a bit more liberal, apparently, although he's he bombing... Is. Le- but those things have bombing, nothing to do with uh, each Yemen, other. Yes, so, it's terrible. Yeah. It's, it's really 
terrible, but you know, whatever. So we talked about explicit things, politics, uh, religion, uh, what, what other sensitive topics? Ma- maybe it's just a bot uh, going, going, explicit, explicit, we're not explicit, explicit, explicit. Am I explicit enough in telling you that I'm we're ex- not explicit? Yes. comes from the word explain. We're just explaining right. the way things are. We're explaining in the, world. the we differences are... between men and women, and we're drawing a very graphic picture. We That's are right. raping you with facts and statistics here. <laughs> and you're going to love it, and you're going to swallow everything we give, and you want to try and to... We will meet in the stomach, our hands will touch there. We've got a gay Jewish Arab, Arab Union. <laughs> Listen, you want to gag? We got a gay Arab. You want to gag him? He loves that. I love, I love it. it. I love Go it. Ahead. And gag, gag him. Gag him. Gag me. He loves it. <laughs> it's been talk funny. Gag him. Gag him again. Here come yeah. the police. Talk funny. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.